back up and at them here for more. Where would you rather be? Where would we rather be than right here? Joey D coming in hot with wow, look at that set of hair right there. The two put a, fuck it, put, a fu- put a put a hat on ASAP. Wow, look at Joey D. Man, Joe, put a, a Joe, put a hat on. What that is, I, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to, I'm not gonna be able to concentrate. That is really look. The That's quaff. a problem that the I would love to have. To look at this. Oh, it absolutely. Is be hard. I would. I would like you to put a hat on just because I. I'm seeing what you're seeing. Mikey. <laughs> that is. It's tough. It's it's very distracting, Joe. Yeah, it really is. It's very distracting, and not Come necessarily on, in a in a. It is. It is. And you know what? To be quite frank, it's kind of arrogant. It's not. I wear a hat on every episode. It's a morning podcast. Mikey, it is. He knew exactly what he Peacocky. was doing this That's morning. That's morning said, podcast. I just got up a little. Wait, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get even with you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that off to the world. Those bean yeah. sprouts. Yeah. Wow. Look, my hair I looks like, like a. Here, my hair looks like a newly goodly. cultivated farmland. My my right hair's there. had a good. My hair's had a good month. Yeah, you've, yeah, you've had, had a good hair month. Hair's looked, like I've seen a couple of videos you put on, and the hair looks good. It's been a good month. Well, you, what you and Ticket said really actually helped was putting it, putting it back and up rather than to. I did the comb over, used, and I'm he just used to do this like Pee Wee Herman style comb over, bear down. Pee Wee Herman was... style, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. and it was not. It just it wasn't flattering. And I said to him, I said, go for like the more like messy look, like just toss it up there, put a little product in, and just wave it up a bit. And you've done that, Bob. It's made a big difference. Now let me see what we got in the back there, though, Joey did. What do you mean the back? Let's see the back side of the wow. The really just coverage is everywhere. It's really obnoxious. Is. Yeah, it's know, obnoxious. Why is it obnoxious? It's like playing the it's like playing the uh the 2002 Tampa Bay Buccaneer defense. There's just coverage yeah, all sick. over the field. It's yeah, suffocating suffocating coverage. You can't get the they, 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 they got they got 12 guys on the field and nobody's yeah. throwing a flag. Yeah, Ward no. Sapp, you got John Lynch in the back. I've yeah, got Ronde Ronde Barber, Barber Simeon Rice. You got <laughs> yeah, Joe, play, God, playmakers please. all over the field. Joe, I I sent this to Mikey V yesterday. Okay, and I really ever since you guys did like you know just how great Chinese food is and whatnot. You know that I had Sunday night push. My parents do it every single Sunday, so I got into the Chinese push. My days of Chinese are done for a long time. Do you want to hear? Whoa, come Joe. on, Bob. He OD'd. He OD'd. I OD'd. This, oh, this happens. No. I, I've, I've seen this happen to people. Too this many crab happen, rangoons so. for the young man. Yeah. You ready? You ready for this order, Joey? Da? This is for one. Okay. This All is right, for one. Hear. Crispy vegetable spring rolls, coconut That's jumbo, nice coconut jumbo prawns, sweet and spicy wontons. Had no business getting those. Crab rangoons. Yeah, I knew that was happening. Mushu crepes. What that sounds terrible. <laughs> broccoli florets with garlic sauce, thirteen dollar broccoli. Black dollars. Yeah, thirteen dollars. Only in California, man. Thirteen dollars for fucking broccoli. Black peppercorn beef. That sounds good. Steamed jasmine <laughs> rice, a hundred thirty-three dollar order. <laughs> yeah, where did just... you order? Where did you order from? There's a Chinese place that I go to that used to be so good. I it hit so good one time, and I've been chasing that high ever since. And ever since the time it comes, it stinks. You, you know that the the thing with and Mikey V will attest to this. The thing with Chinese, you don't need to go fancy. You need to find a spot. It doesn't need to be glamorous. They just need to. Do food right, and it doesn't necessarily always need to be expensive. There's a yeah, lot of the gour- gourmet gourmet Chinese though does hit different than regular like. Regular yeah, no, I know, Mike Evie, but hole in the wall doing, Chinese. When you're doing takeout, especially like you just need a yeah. place that hits home, and I a lot mean, of these small little mom and pop Chinese shops, they're not expensive. If you're just like, sitting on the couch and it's just a couch day, and you're just being a total piece of shit, you just need you just need something that's done right. It comes hot. It's not like it. It's not disgusting. Like if it's if it's not disgusting on the Chinese scale, then it's very acceptable. Especially if you're by yourself. Now, when Bob sent me that bill last night, I thought maybe he had company over because no, I saw he wasn't. My- hundred and thirty three dollars worth of Chinese. That's that's even disgusting. by my standard. That's impressive. That's <laughs> now, disgusting. Bob, I want to know like of. The quantity of the food that you ordered, how much of it was actually consumed and how much of it is actually either leftover or will be disposed of? 
It's a good question, Joey D. There's a little bit of that chicken mo- uh, Mishu crepes, which I'm never going to eat, so I don't know why I put it in the refrigerator. And then there's some of the garlic broccoli. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> it's disgusting, man. I, I, I'm in a bad way. I went to the gym this morning, but, but it was bad. And then Saturday, okay, I texted this to Mikey as well. I was such a piece of shit. Saturday, I woke up, I had a bacon, egg, and cheese I had chicken milanese Caesar salad with um, rigatoni bolognese and the orchid. I saw that. That looked good. And you got a nice little bottle of wine too. Sure did. And then I got, um, (laughs) and then I had a sub sandwich. The bolognese. And then I had a burrito and then I ordered ice cream. It it was, it was. I've never seen Bob, like some people don't realize the amount of Bob that Bob consumes from a food perspective is truly incredible. And it actually, it's, it's. It's really not good for me because I don't have the metabolism that this young man has. So we will just consume food at an egregious rate yeah. and he will begin to start burning it off. And he, by the way, he goes to these F45 classes. I did one yesterday. I think I broke my back. <laughs> yeah, so stop. Bob has three, th- Bob has three things going for him, right? One, he's younger. Okay. Metabolism. Yeah. yeah he's not mm-hmm. our age. Two genetics, if you've ever seen his parents, right? And he puts mom and dad on the content all the time. If you've ever seen uh, Mike Berger's genetics, you know that Slim. Bob Bob's built for the long term because this man is just the easy. He's in ideal shape. Not and me. then and then three, I forgot what three was, but but one and two certainly is the reason. Three was why all Bob of the above. Away, uh, Bob certainly could get away with all of this nonsense because of his age and his genetics. And the, oh, I remember three. For all that said, for all that said, all things being equal, Bob is very, very disciplined. He will go to the gym six, seven. Now he'll eat like an animal, but he will go to the gym six, seven days a week. You combine that with the fact that he's got the genetics and the youth on his side for right now. That's See, why I will say this. there was a time there was a fat Bob. Really? When I yeah. first yeah. met him, right. there was a fat Bob, which I, I can't fathom how that Was happened. it fat Bob or was I it like... Plump. Yeah, I would say I'm chunky, chunky. chunky Bob. Yeah. I chunky see, Bob. I see, I see fat now, like not like huge, but compared to like Bob's in good shape now. So, yeah. and I and I feel like he has been for some time. So it's hard for me to 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 realize like when I see him back then, he wasn't fat. He was like he was he was chunky, just not what he is now. Porkly, I guess. You and when Bob, when Bob, I mean, every time Bob comes over, like I call him Bobby Plates. Like we put out food, and this guy <laughs> yes. just he. He just keeps he just keeps going up and getting Mikey, another plate. We keeps did up, a, it's incredible. It's incredible. I'm not going to give too much away from it because it's going to be a good video. But we just did a 50 taco challenge between mm-hmm. me, Perez, and Bob. Okay, I'm not going to say who ate what or if we did it. All I'm going to say is this man proceeded to leave that afternoon, late afternoon, after doing a 50 taco challenge, oh, yeah. and order go to Chick Fil A. And yeah. order food later that night. How'd you know I go to chow? How'd you know I did Chick Fil A? I mean, Bob, you're. I mean, Bob. Let's just put it this way, Bob. If somebody was looking for you, it wouldn't be hard to find. <laughs> <laughs> There's only a couple places in the Bob rotation, you know, and Chick Fil A is certainly at the top of the list. So, but you know what? You know, with the age thing, that I think you guys need to keep in mind. Okay, maybe I'm wrong for this, yeah, but go ahead. When it comes to the movies, I think that that age gap in movies to where when I'm seeing some movies like. Raging Bull or Seven or The Godfather, where there is that gap to where I'm not used to the black and white style. There's movies that are, they're not black and white, but they're close to black uh, and white. Well, Godfather since, to me, you tell me, <laughs> since was you black opened, and white, and I'd say you, I know. Since you opened that clam, let's go right into the Jurassic, <laughs> let's go into the Jurassic Park results because I think oh, people are gonna no. want to hear I gotta this. hear this. I know yeah. I won't say before you say anything, Bob. I'm just gonna say he sent a screenshot of the movie, he did. which is the part where you know Dr. Allen is trying to save the kids, which means that he was attacked by the T-Rex. Sure. That's gotta be about 45 minutes. To to an hour. Bob into- sending the screenshot though never really de- never really indicates much to me because I feel he like he's sent one break that, in every movie. He broke that precipice of the first twenty minutes. Yeah, in my yeah, but it wasn't, it's not like the first twenty minutes of Jurassic Park moves slow. I mean, a guy gets eaten by a fucking Velociraptor in the first five <laughs> minutes of the video. He gets eaten by a dinosaur. Well, so, after I mean, that, like, it's, there's a there's a slow. There's a little well, gap. Okay, right, let's let's say, let him dive into it. Go ahead. What I do want to say though is I think that my commitment 
to these movies. I'll tell you, I'll be the first to tell you, and it's a shame we didn't do it for Bobby Blockbuster because it's <laughs> one of the harder I've I've laughed. I don't like when I watch a movie, I don't laugh out loud. I just in my head I'll be like, that was funny. You know, like I won't laugh out loud. Mm. Bear Down suggested to me last night, and you guys had mentioned it, my cousin Vinny. Yes. That mo- on multiple occasions had me laugh out loud. Yeah, so I, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, it really did. I thought there was some some parts to me that were just a right. It was up my alley. But with that being said, I think my commitment to these movies now, I really, really am trying to dive in um, to movies. I tried to get a movie from Bear Down last night, and he just made fun of me for 10 minutes straight before he recommended a movie <laughs> to me, before I could even get anything out of him. He needed um, something to, to coincide with Mushu pork. That's, that's it exaggerated. Is, it is, Mikey V. I couldn't get a movie. I was trying to get a movie. You were just busting my balls for, for I wasn't busting straight. your balls. I said, I think you would like this movie. You're like, oh, I've seen that one. I really like it. Keep going. Then I said another one. You never answered it. What movie What movie did you say that I liked? Um, Rounders. Yeah, I liked Rounders. I think Joey D recommended that at some point. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There's been um, a lot of movie suggestions people have been firing in. Grumpy old men's been one of them I've seen on multiple. <laughs> he would probably teams. laugh at grumpy old men. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, there's. It's good to hear, but I need to know Jurassic Park. Did you finish the movie? It's not for me. It it, it wasn't bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's just it, it wasn't. I. Oh God. <laughs> look, look. That movie. How can Look. <laughs> you guys are such scumbags, man. I feel man. like it's just a disappointed parents. I really do. I just <laughs> that movie literally transcends generations. Ah, it's, it's not for me. <laughs> Look, I don't think it was bad. I I, I don't think it, it wasn't like Scent of a Woman where I was annoyed with you guys oh, for you recommending it. A woman. That really pissed me off. It's like, what the <laughs> fuck are they doing? That really he pissed me off. absolutely loathed that movie. Okay. But, it's, but so I don't think it was bad, but okay. would I say it's a pass? Well, if you had to give it a rate, like what we should start doing is instead of it wasn't for me, we should start giving you a rating. So yeah. like out of 10, what would you give Jurassic Park? Good question. I'd give it a five. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. We oh, so you're, right. you're, I mean, you're yeah, panning I might say like a, a five six, out of ten. Four, five, seven, seven. Now, I will say this, and I honestly forget who was on which side. I'm almost positive Mikey V was on. I would take Jaws over Jurassic Park, and I know. Wow, that what a development! Yeah, what a development. Good for you, Bob. Good yeah, for you. I, I, yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. Joey yeah. D, but I, right. I would definitely, right. I would yeah. take Jaws over I Jurassic agree. Park for yep. sure. It just, I, I don't know. We're still talking about this now. I do think uh, the, from just what I've heard that the majority, if we polled it, would probably go Jurassic Park. Yeah, it's closer than the experts think, though. It's closer than the experts think. Yeah, <laughs> and, and again, I so I give it a five. I I think it's oh, it's definitely that's a panic. Roll for five. That's roll a for panic. five. Roll for five. Yeah. Um. But again, I don't think that was bad. I like. I get. I get the recommendations. But again, it's just like. You know, I, I, I think you guys have done a terrible job. Well, so let's go through the five movies, okay? Yeah. Godfather, critically acclaimed as one of the greatest movies. Top of five time. movie consensus probably across the board for every human being that's ever watched a movie. Go ahead, <laughs> some, continue. Some would say. So we had Godfather, then we went Seven, Ratatouille, which I Ratatouille. think is known Ratatouille. as one of the best Ratatouille. Disney movies ever. Then we went, we completely shifted. We went Seven. Yeah. Then we Terrible. did Scent of a Woman, which is another <laughs> classic, and then Jurassic Park. Bob, it's not like we're giving you shitty movies here. But so, when you hear it's not that, like we're telling you to watch like Halloween Seven or something. Like every, <laughs> you know? A part you're, of it, Bob, too. I will. Jason say versus Freddy. You need to, and I said this to Bob separately. Even regardless if you like the movies or not, you need to watch some of these movies because they're heralded as some of the best movies ever. Jurassic Park and Godfather are in anyone's top 100 list. Yeah, I would I would yeah. I would I would say top 50 probably come, for most people. But you guys have any movie out there to pick? You have any movie I out mean, there? I mean, Bob, pick? we're picking from the most wildest ranges from but cartoon character get, mice to but animatronic seven, dinosaurs but to with every movies, single to thrillers, movie to, uh, to to possibly pick 
Godfather, I get. Everybody loves it. I get it. Totally get that. When you have any movie to pick, okay. you go Ratatouille to to Seven to Scent <laughs> of a Woman. Now, come on. Anybody that, listening to this woman might have been that might have been. I mean, yeah, come that was, on. That was Anybody can I'll hear admit that. It, these guys can the pick on anything. Right. Anything. But we Godfather's come up on with, me. We need to come up with a new movie, Joe. So and yeah. um yeah, I we need to come up with a new movie. Bob, By the way, you seen my it, cousin, have you seen the Happy my, Gilmore? Of course, yeah. Let's not be disrespectful, Mike. I, I yeah, of don't course know, I've Bob. Seen it. Joey Day is that. How do I know? You haven't watched a lot yeah. of shit. Happy yeah. Gilmore. And by the way, my cousin Vinny would have hit. My cousin Vinny would have definitely yeah, been what a hit. What would you give my cousin Vinny out of ten? Um, I would say a six. Oh my god! So that's for you, but it's only a six. That out hit, of 10. but it was only a six. Yeah, because it made me laugh. I I I wouldn't want to watch it again, but I okay. but I liked it. <laughs> I liked it. I don't know what to do here, man. I really don't. I, I really don't know. I, I really don't know what direction to go in. I, I really don't. Well, I honestly do don't. Do you have a movie on slate for him for this week? I don't. I, I don't. I don't know what direction we pivot here. We have to pivot to another direction. I, I, I feel like we've been pivoting in every direction possible. What? What do you I have got? a movie. It's not very. I, I, it's not like Harold is one of the best movies of all time, but it's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. I know what he's going to say, it? and I've already seen it. What no, is you it? haven't. Um, wait, it's a movie oh. with Ashton Kutcher. Oh, you had mentioned about this one. Now, this might be up my alley. What Joe movie, Day. Joe? The Butterfly Effect. Yeah. Have you watched it, Mike Uh, Yeah, I saw it a while, a long time ago. I got to be on the same page. Once. Yeah, once. We got to be on the same page that we know what he, you know, we got to be, I, I think we got to be unified in the fact that if he doesn't like the movie, but we're both sold on it, then we can't, we can't. You know, we can't fault our pick. That's How about fair. the Little Giants? You ever see the Little Giants? Great movie. Bob? Great How movie. About, wait, wait, what about... See, I, I, think, I think I know how to think, but I think he's consumed those movies. There's not what too about, many of them out there. What about... Juvenile Back sports the humor. Back to the future. Back to the future. Look at Bobby that. He has, he has no interest <laughs> in seeing that. None. Yeah. Bobby, it's I, you know I don't understand. Like, how about so... how about Ghostbusters? You ever see Ghostbusters? Come the original? on, yeah. No, oh, I don't no, think you like I Ghostbusters. Tell, but it's uh, we got to do the. Uh, it's your guy's pick. But why are we going such old movies? Isn't there something fresh? What do you mean old movies? It's uh, some of the best movies are always older. Mm. I, I yeah. I if you guys agree. look, if that's what you guys want to go with. If you want to go with Back to the Future, well, how we'll about go... this movie, Joe? What do you think about this Groundhog Day with Bill Murray? Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you see that reaction? Yeah, yeah. Right. it's a great movie. Groundhog Day is the He's next. He's gonna movie. hate it, but it's a great movie. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah. come on! Am, am I actually? I think you Bill may Murray, like it, Bob. I think you may like it, Bob. Now we know Bill Murray has lost his fastball, according to the Jet. However, when right. this movie was made, he certainly his had his fastball best. was at an all-time high. He yeah, had a was. Randy Johnson-esque fastball when this. Thing I think out. Bob would like this movie. I actually, I'm gonna say yes. No. The thing is, he's going to say it's old. That's what he's going to say. Number well, that's one. 100%. Number two, the cinematography is going to say he's not good enough, not 5K. And and But I do think if he likes the humor from My Cousin Vinny, like that style, then this could transfer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Okay. Like, do you, know, it is. do you know what Jet, Jet said to me? Because Jet thinks he's got a really good read on me, movies-wise. And you know yeah. what he said to me? And it was, it was wild that he said Because I love this movie. It's um, Law Abiding Citizen. Law Abiding Citizen with... Uh, that didn't that, really hit. No, um, Law I, I with saw Butler. Um, it, it's Gerard an, uh, Butler. Gerard Butler. Yeah, like, I love that. I thought that was awesome. You know, it's 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 action packed. There's a lot going on. All right, all Wait. right. Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna maybe we pivot, Joe. Day. Maybe we pivot. Okay, we can pivot. We can pivot. How about the Equalizer with Denzel Washington? Oh yeah. Yes. See, he never watched John Wick too. That's another one. Bob. That I... Bob. The Equalizer. Equalizer. Denzel, Denzel Washington. Washington. The Equalizer. Is that what you? Or, got, is that what you want to do? Or have you seen Training Day? Yeah, love Training Day. Okay. Equalizer. Equalizer. I think we have a winner. Good. Equalizer with, with Denzel. Yes, okay. 100%. See, that that I would be excited for. You should Brown be Hall. excited. Equalizer is <laughs> a great movie. See, great movie. Jet, Jet goes, I have a good read on Bob. I know what he likes. And then he proceeds to say, I would tell him to watch uh, No Country for Old Men. Or Bob would I, never make it. He would no hate that movie. Men. He would hate that movie. He would not last. For, he, no. I'm like, Jet, you say you have a read on him. And then the movie that you suggest 
would be uh, he would stop watching that after the first. Game. I think that the equalizer is going to be I a success. Yeah, I'm predicting a seven score or above. Oh. For the equalizer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, I'm excited now. I'm. I'm. Yep. I'm, ex- yep. I'm excited. Get excited. Get okay. excited. Bob. He's got some homework to do. All right. He we, does. Uh, yes. Speaking We're, of homework, Bob, did you see? Folks, our next sponsor is a sponsor that I just so happen to use and take every single day. A product that I use and take every single day. Athletic Greens. You cannot go wrong when you're taking Athletic Greens. I wanted better mental health physical health, gut health, and that is exactly what Athletic Greens does. You cannot go wrong when you go Athletic Greens. With one delicious scoop of Athletic Greens, you are absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. You can't go wrong. It starts your day right. I do it. I take one scoop of the athletic greens, down it with the water, and I am good to go. Mentally, I feel great. Physically, I feel great. After a workout, I use it, and it is absolutely terrific. Now, to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. Do it with Athletic Greens. You can't go wrong. I put a three-man <laughs> pick out yesterday. Bob, did you see how close I came to hitting my first ever? Hey, yeah, look, Power you came. Play? Now, you guys went rogue. You guys went separate against each other on the Well, that was picks. not the plan. I said to Mikey V, here's my pick. We did, uh, we did the five on, um, on Saturday. I, I am truly convinced. And you know what? Look, it's nothing against you guys by any means. And we're going to keep rolling this. I don't think we're ever going to hit another prize picks again. With that being said, <laughs> I'm going to hit one tonight. If you, I mean, it just, you just, it's so hard to hit. I, I don't know. We just struck gold with the ones. Pro, we we are never hitting another five to six team. It's never going to happen. That being said, jump on our picks. <laughs> that being said, well, well you know, again. The boys. Yeah, I mean, you sign up and make your own picks, but you get a nice hundred dollar cash cash match on your first this. deposit. That's the point. <laughs> putting putting the picks out yesterday and watching the bad beat that I had with Waddle not making it made me feel all the more worse for Mikey V with some of the bad beats that we have oh, yeah. hit with the field goals. I it even traced me back. Remember that game with Derek Carr rushing oh, where he worst broke the knee yeah, and there was no one and we lost by half a yard. I there remember. have been some horrific Oh, let me let me say this. I'm going to say this now that DeMar Hamlin is completely okay and we you know, DeMar Hamlin by the grace of God, those medical professionals, the first responders on the field, we know he's fully recovered. He's out of the hospital. He's doing wonderfully. We're Thank God. Hit that night. That night we had a six teamer oh, in. That six teamer was absolutely, in my opinion, it was. He's right. It was. Bob. It was, it was way know. beyond. The game pace was perfect. The back and forth was perfect. The kick we already had a kick in in the first quarter. We Cook already had was almost all in. Cook was almost in. Diggs had half his receptions already, if not more. Allen had like six completions. He only needed like twelve or twelve or twelve to fourteen more. That was Burrow had to throw no interceptions. Burrow's not throwing really felt like it was going to hit. Let me ask you, Mikey. That was going to hit. That's upsetting. But obviously, this is the first time I've ever publicly said that because thoughts and prayers were all with Demar Hamlin. I'm not a scumbag. I would never be like, oh my god, I can't. No, but in looking back now, I really wished that that injury had never happened and that game uh, continued because I think that was that was the one. That was the one that got away. Mikey, let me ask you something. Like when you. When you okay, like when we take a bad beat on prize picks, you take a bad beat on a bet or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you gotta go upstairs to the family and you know, be a dad and whatnot. Are you able to turn the switch? Like are you able to get over it or does it sit with you a little bit and be honest? I mean, it lingers depending how bad it is. <laughs> right. So where are you kind of in a little bit in a bad mood? Well, kind of? here's the thing is like anyone who asks me, like if Holly asks me or if you know Anyone else uh, ask me like, well, how did the football go? I'm just like, I, I won't even, I'll just kind of shrug my shoulders and not give a real response. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way. I mean, oh, I don't want to talk about it to be you honest. You become really invested in that pick. You yeah. Do. You become very invested in all the picks. Buffalo bills killed me yesterday. I, you know, the bills are the one team. They sunk the entire ship four game teaser. Every other team hit. 
Bills Bills oh, couldn't man. cover six and a half when they're a 13 and a half point favorite. You know what? At I home against the third string quarterback. quarterback. You know, yeah, that's the NFL. You know what? You know what Joey D does to me yesterday? Just classic, classic Joey D. What? I get banged yesterday. I got absolutely banged on my bets. Yeah. So he he made it like he'll he'll take my bets and whatnot. So I ask him for the balance. He hits me with the balance. Okay. Not a good balance by any means. His mm. next text was, man, I'm so happy I didn't bet. <laughs> it's like, Joe, I, I, like, come I on, man. Like, like, man. You, you gotta, like, like, but it's like classic. Salt in the and, wound. And, salt you know, you wound. wonder. I wasn't trying to see that. I, just, I had to see. I felt so refreshing. I was unbound by the shackles of just being, you know, just completely – a slave to these some of these games. Wait, wait, these, Joe, do you these do bad you, beats? Yes, the the do Jaguars. Do you, I was send, do you send that text though and think you know what? Maybe that's not the best. I tell you what, the the, the sport, the, the best. You just look at it. You're just the sportsman like, pick. Yeah, what about after the, the national title game? Of Joey what about B after the national the title game when you hit everything and I wasn't on oh, and go. I was cheering for you and I was there saying, God, I'm I'm happy that you hit Bob. Well, you're there good. You know. you're, look, I'll say this. Well, you, you know, you got to share the good with the bad. You can't if, just say, oh, he sent me this one text. I look like an asshole. I will. Meanwhile, when you win, I do congratulate. You. I'll give you this. You're very fun to bet with where if you don't, if you don't have a bet that, that I have or another person, have, you, you genuinely root for that bet. So 100%. I will say you're, you're very good in that aspect that you're a good I'm um, a rider. You're a good rider. You really are. I'll give you that. Um, all right, fellas. Well, we're going to keep it moving along here. Now we're going to head on over to our buy or sell segment of the week. What did you like that you saw this week? What did you not like? Buy or sell? Uh, let's start with Joey D. Let's see what Joey D's got for us here today. Um, I got one now that, you know, we're, we're quickly approaching, you know, the new year and March Madness and NCAA basketball is coming in full throttle now. I've been watching a lot of it. And this is something that just aesthetically is so pleasing to the eye is seeing the ESPN NCAA basketball scoreboard. I think it is so perfectly segmented across the screen. It's it's visible. You can see timeouts. You can see fouls. You can see the score clearly. And, and the reason why I'm buying this is because I've been watching, I watch NBA and the NBA scoreboard is dog shit. Compared to the the across banner scoreboard that ESPN puts up, it's like you just can click onto the game and you feel like automatically you know exactly what's going on. There's no guessing. The score's always there. It's very visible. I, I really appreciate it. It makes the game more enjoyable. I don't know how much basketball you watch, Mikey V. I know you're a huge advocate of NCAA football. But the NCAA basketball and ESPN, they're doing something right with this scoreboard, man. It looks clean it looks good i i have to put in my buy for this week he um he mentioned it to me we were playing pool we we're at a bar playing pool and he, he had me look up over at the tv and the, the college basketball scoreboard i right. do agree it's it's a um it's bigger print it's it's more clear and i think we all agree this is kind of like when we're betting watching the game yes. especially because you want to see the timeouts i yep. love watching the clock it is it's a better aesthetic in the college <laughs> games for sure yeah, yeah, NBA this little small. miniature thing on the bottom right corner and it's like you can't see shit and they like it, it's just way harder to follow yeah I, I'm, on, I'm on board with that I got no issue with that buy um and and let's head over to Mikey V uh easy sell for me this week I'm se- I'm selling Brandon Staley and the, and the Los Angeles oh Chargers. yeah that oh, was oh that's a great oh, sell man. that's a monumental third biggest collapse in in NFL postseason history um, 27 to nothing on the road, uh, with a quarterback that everyone is it's he, Herbert's always, everyone's like darling quarterback as a top 10 guy in the league. They try and tell you he's top 10. He's going to be top five. He's, he's up there with Mahomes and with Allen and Burrow and all these guys. There is no way you could blow a 27 point lead against that Jaguar defense. Trevor Lawrence aside four interceptions in the first half. Brandon Staley going against everything that got him there. Guy who goes for it on fourth down, regardless of where they are on, on the field. He didn't do it in this game. And then Doug Peterson just rams it right up his ass and does the exact uh, opposite of what he should have been doing and does what Staley always does going for it on fourth and short uh, and sealing the game. And just <laughs> the Chargers worst home attendance in the league. 
just a team like I, I feel bad for any of their fans, honestly. And this is coming from obviously a, a fan of a franchise that never does anything right usually. Um, but that was a master class in how to absolutely Terrible. disappoint and disgust an entire fan base. Uh, I would be shocked if this guy survives this offseason. I would be totally shocked. Um, they cannot, in my opinion, roll into next year with this bozo as the head coach of the team. I just By the I way, can't see how I will possible. say Doug Peterson, when they scored that touchdown going for two, was one of the more ballsy plays. Doug Peterson's a great coach. Because if they had not gotten that two-point conversion that put them within two points that ultimately won the game when they hit the field goal, they would have needed another touchdown. This guy at that point just put his balls on the floor and said, you know what, we're winning this game. Yeah, yeah I, I I guess we'll find out soon with Staley. But, I mean, to lose that game, man, is so, so bad, especially when you got was that my pick of the week. Yeah, I mean that that is yeah that, that's, that's just tough. I had Chargers, I had charge on the Sportsman podcast, Bob. I gave the Chargers minus one and a half as my pick of the week. They're up twenty seven to nothing. I turned it. I, I didn't even look. I was out for dinner with my family. I come back and it's twenty seven twenty. I said or 30 to 20 and i'm like oh my god what the you, hell just happened you know and now another uh, another team that now does got to be licking their chops now you're kansas city you get jacksonville coming into kansas oh, city gonna be and a then on, bath. on top of that the bills who did not look good against the dolphins at all now the Bills got to go into a very tough game with the Bengals. That's not going to be an easy game. They got to play the Bengals to where well, they do play at home, which is good for they them. They play at home, but yeah, I mean, Kansas City right now has got to be licking their chops. The um, Bengals, by the way, didn't look exactly phenomenal. They no, barely no. beat a Ravens team without Lamar Jackson. I, I, mean, I think, though, at this point, that's kind of who the Bengals are. I think they're just a team, just they find a way to win games. I don't think they're the kind. And, Zach Taylor, again, another guy who, you know, he's kind of in a really good situation over there in Cincinnati, a team that's loaded T Higgins, Tyler Boyd, Joe Mixon, Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, uh, Hayden Hurst. I mean, this team's loaded with offensive talent. They got enough on defense. You saw last night they could they could make a play like that every once in a while, splashy kind of defense. I think the Bengals are just a team that they just hang around and Burrow's just a closer. I think Burrow just has a way he closes out games. But in terms of covering big spreads, again, that's why I teased Cincinnati down to minus one and a half. I thought they'd obviously win the game, but eight and a half points against a divisional opponent. I know Huntley's a backup quarterback, but even still, it, those divisional games in the playoffs, and you saw with Buffalo, Buffalo is a 13 and a half point favorite. These teams know each other so well from playing two times a year, year in and year out, yep. that it's just difficult. Home field advantage aside, seeding aside. It's just not an easy task. I, I Kansas City, I agree, Bob. I don't think Jacksonville – the thing about Jacksonville is I don't believe in their defense. I just don't believe in their defense. I do believe Trevor Lawrence could push the ball down the field. So I think Jag, the Jaguars will be able to move the ball against KC. I just think that ultimately the Jaguar defense is going to collapse. Not, I, I don't trust I have, them. I have a question for you because some people are saying that they should be doing this. Do you think it's worth it for the Chargers to use their first-round pick to get Sean Payton as their head coach? Yeah, I would I would have had Sean Payton probably on a plane that right after the loss against uh Jackson. But that's a that's a lot to give up. It is, it is, but I, you're talking about another team that's loaded with playmakers. I mean, Austin Eckler, Mike Williams. I know he was hurt, he didn't play, but Mike Williams, Keenan Donald Allen. Parham, uh, you know, Keenan Al Keenan Allen, Joshua Palmer. Defensively, you got two of the premier edge rushers in football, Khalil Mack, Joey Bosa. Derwin James is one of the best safeties in football. You know, another team that's loaded, the first round pick, they may go the Rams route and just get the get the right coach in there and 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 move forward from there. But I yeah, I would have no issue with it if I'm them. They're I'm win gonna, now mode. They're win now mode. I'm gonna go with a with a quick buy and a quick sell. Um, buy and I I've bet against them all year and it really bit me in the ass. We'll stay on the football topic. It really bit me in the ass yesterday. Brian Dayball the Giants head coach. I've never a seen a team to where uh, the roster's not that good. Like you have Saquon, of course, but like, I don't think the rot, like I don't think Daniel Jones, even oh, as good as he's playing is even like, they are just so well coached and it's so apparent. 
it's unbelievable. Like, I don't yeah. think their roster is really anything that special. And they look great. I mean, they looked great yesterday. And you could just tell. Some teams you could just see are just so well coached. And it's just, it's amazing. The yeah, Giants, that was the good. most typical New York Giants playoff win that I've ever seen. A quarterback that doesn't wow you during the regular season, Eli Manning. A defensive line that could just get after and pressure the quarterback, Thibodeau, Leonard Williams, the uh, Dexter Lawrence. That defensive line is no joke. That's a that's an all star type of defensive line budding for the Giants. They got a first round pick at left tackle, a first round pick at right tackle. Saquon looks a hundred percent for the first time in a long time, and he is elite. Once he hits his spot, he's elite. And Daniel Jones is proving that he's going to he's going to get paid. They're going to pay Daniel Jones and Brian Dayball what he did for Josh Allen and Joe Shane the general manager what they did for Josh Allen and for Buffalo. They're now with the Giants and all of a sudden they're in the divisional round of the playoffs on a team that wasn't supposed to do anything this year. This team wasn't supposed to make the playoffs this year. And if you don't think that they could give Philly a legitimate game yeah, on Saturday can. night, you're crazy. They you're absolutely crazy. can. This is a giant team built from the same mold as those Super Bowl teams. A quarterback that don't wow you during the regular season last yesterday has the game of his life. A running a game, a running game and a D line that could mask any kind of uh, you know, any kind of setbacks or any kind of uh, you know, down spots they have in the secondary because they could get after the quarterback. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy, bro. And the Giants fans are Man, the I Giants fans are brutal, them. bro. Oh, they're the worst. They're brutal. <laughs> they are, they are insufferable, worst, bro. Man. Some guys, I mean, I'm in these group chats. Oh, it just never ends. God. It just is never ends, Juice bro. Is Juice a Giants fan? Nikki oh, Juice is oh, one of the biggest. And an <laughs> one of the oh, they, they really are, man. They're going spade a spade. I love them, but my God. They're the worst. They, they, I can't stand. That's why I don't like the Giants. Oh, who I mean, else? Even growing uh, up Mike, there. Mikey Martinez is a Giants fan, too. And an obnoxious one at that, too. I've never met a non-obnoxious Giant fan. I got to be They're all obnoxious. I can't stand them. I, that's to be honest. That's where I really started rooting for the Jets was because I just couldn't stand the Giant fans. I, I just, I think my dad is actually he roots for the Giants, and I still don't like the Giants. I, I just, yeah. they're fans, man. They just rub me the wrong way. Yeah, but you um, got to cheer for Saquon, Bob. No, that, that of course, friend of the program, I'm, Saquon. I, root for I absolutely the Giants. cheer I, for. If the Bears are out of it, which they are every year, I like rooting for the Giants. I really do. But giant fans have this thing where like they will oh. make you feel as though they deserve some kind of like not sympathy. That's not the right word, but like they make it sound like they haven't been this incredible, incredibly successful franchise over the course True. of the I, I'm friends with guys who literally have seen three Super Bowl wins in their lifetime. Three. I haven't seen one. Bad and on for this. them to ever bitch and complain, which they did for years after Odell was there. And once Gettleman came in, bitched and complained and complained and bitched. I, I don't want to hear it. Your team, your team now look at you. You're in the divisional round already. They got yeah, the best but, head coach on the market, the best know, GM on the market. It's over. It's over. You know what Giants I may say, win though? the Super Bowl. You know what oh, Mike. oh, Mikey, that is come on, man. What are we wow, doing? Wow, what here? a I've prediction seen this, I've, out of the year. I've seen this so before, much Bob. Better than that, Bob. You Bob, really are. You're Bob, let me so ask you much. A this is I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not saying they're come going on, to win the Mikey. Super Bowl. I'm, okay, you just said it. You just well, said not, it. I said they could. I do think they could beat the Eagles. They could beat the Eagles. And then they're one game away from the Super Bowl. By the way, they're one game away. Leads me into a terrific topic. By the way, Mikey V was uh, the front and center of a really big I forgot about this. Yeah. Yeah. Mikey V, I was cracking up looking at this. Mikey V really, went viral for the wrong reasons. There's a really big Instagram I'd say for the right page. reasons. <laughs> oh, fuck off. I would argue right for the right reasons. reasons. It's, a, it's a respected sports <laughs> opinion that went awry. That's what it was. <laughs> Any press is good press. Bob, you got to tell him. There's an Instagram account, and it's a really big Instagram account. It's not like it's just like a friend of the show. A big Instagram <laughs> account called Freezing Cold Takes. And they got a, a blue check mark. They put it on the screen ticket. <laughs> yeah. They highlight 
the worst takes of the year. And I'm scrolling through Instagram the other day, and all of a sudden you see Bear Down Gus week six or seven saying the Niners season is over as yep. they're just yep. sticking it to the Seahawks. So so let me ask By the you way, guys, that's let me ask you guys, let me ask you guys an honest question. Let me ask you guys an honest question. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Trey Lance goes out week one for the season, right? Jimmy Garoppolo comes in. San Francisco's not scoring points, right? They look like they look like an okay team, right? Let's let's cut the chit chat down. <laughs> then Jimmy Garoppolo tears whatever he tore in his leg or his foot, whatever injury he sustained. Now you know that a third string rookie is coming in. Did you ex- so you guys? I'm I'm to believe you guys. I'm to believe knew that Brock Purdy would come in and carry San Francisco and and skyrocket them no, into the next stratosphere no, like he has I, done. I, I wouldn't have tweeted it. I, I, I wouldn't have tweeted it. I, well, I, that's I a just... difference. But I have no problem taking that stance. <laughs> and I would take that stance a thousand times out of a thousand. I, I would. You're right. The thing, though, Mikey V, that's not a strong division. So they were right in the middle of it. Like not, not none of those teams like were blowing people off the charts. The Seahawks started out fast. But everybody knew that they were not that. I, I do right. find this. The Cardinals terrible. are one of the worst teams in the league. And the Rams, so are the Rams. Yeah, were so one are the of the Rams. worst teams yes, in the league. Yes, I, the, I, I totally the, agree. The funniest thing is, I mean, this is a really big account, too. <laughs> and all the tweets that they could have used. Hey, you know what that means, Bob? There. All it means, Mikey V, take it like this. Mikey V moves the needle. That That's Mike exactly the way I'm taking it. People so. are, are exactly the way I'm Mikey V. That's exactly the way. Very I'm good thinking. for the pod. Very good for our friend. Bear. I have to I, agree. Listen, I wasn't hiding from it. As soon as I somebody tagged me in it on Twitter, like he right away, it. <laughs> I reposted it. I posted it on my story. I'm proud to wear it. I'm absolutely proud to wear it. It's no problem. And I think again, most people that will admit to their faults would say, "Yeah, I kind of thought the same thing once that happened." By but the way, you know. brilliantly dumb show. You know who heard? I told it to you guys who heard our buy or sell segment. I got a nice DM from the Ryan Clark Good thanking for me for the kind words the week prior yep. when I bought him on the buy or sell segment. So here's the deal, fellas. The show's moving. Numbers are going. Mikey was just highlighted on freezing cold takes. I mean, there were some <laughs> real, real good things going yeah. on here. The boys are Absolutely. moving the needle. I do want to say for the folks out there, um, a lot of people are watching. Do us a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And the boys are moving around here. Um, and without well, further ado, still. without further ado, we are going to go into the top five okay this top five did not come easy it never does okay <laughs> never does this I mean, it's like you guys put out your own you top go. fives and i say I, okay i really let's go with that much i really didn't argue much i you was were, ready to you go were part that's of it. N- you were part of it joey d was the main guy in this but but you were you were part of it you you and you um what's the word i'm looking for joe Antagonize, uh, not antagonize. Antagonize, so. yeah, yeah. No. Stirred the pot. No, Stirred the pot. Me on. Instigator. He was an instigator. He's instigator, an instigator. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I um, am definitely that. Definitely. For sure. By the way, um, those are top five so- selections were mine, so I did contribute. Right, totally. But but, but so you gave your top five, <laughs> and I said, okay, perfect. Let's go with that top five. Just and so then you're aware. a minute both before mine, the so. show, he doesn't want to do that top five because it's easier. Now I will well, say, no, Mikey V said, if we're being easy, if we're being honest, uh, if we're being honest, if we're being honest, being honest. This one Bob. would actually be easier to do, and and the, and the one that I gave is going to be one that we'll do next. No, it, I, I, it listen, will. I, I liked I liked the one that we were going to go with. I think it's a it's a must do, but I did think that this one in particular, and I said we'll do it at a future date. Those are my last words, so <laughs> I agreed to that. I said we'll do it at a future date, irregardless. We're here. Um, this one in particular, I think, could get very funny. I think you could yes. be very I did funny. I did too. Okay. That's okay. All I'm um, and by so, the way, this one, this this one that I gave was a, actually a suggestion from my mom. Wow. All let's right. give it up for, for okay. let's give it up for Dorothy D. Huh? Let's give a nice warm round of applause there. <laughs> you said you need out. a funny top five. I think this could get some good, good, good laughs going. And she's me, right. Me and Katsu were cracking up on the top five uh last week. She put in the comments like was well, like who do you oh, root for? And that's she just crazy. commented Joey Cold Cuts. She thought the Denny's one I did terrible. By the way. That was Bear another down. runaway freight train victory. Bear down but, has it, been uh, but it doesn't matter though, bro. <laughs> like I told you guys in the beginning He's when you broke my balls up. that you guys always would win the top five. The wins mean nothing. It just we're having fun. 
That's what well, it matters but, to me. But, I'm having but fun. you are. You're, Meanwhile, you're Joe, when you go in his bedroom, he's got a tally. Just oh, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> Joe looks yeah, like right, uh, sure. Joe looks like the Italian Canadian Elvis right now with that hair. If <laughs> Elvis was Canadian Italian, it would be Joe. Look at that's look. a. Let me tell you something about that hair, man. That's a barber's dream. Yeah, it, it is. It really is. It a, is. Joe, remember when we went in for the haircut one time together to proper barbershop and I was out of my chair within 10 minutes and Joe was on there for like 45 <laughs> minutes. The front yeah. Paper. I was sitting in the lobby. I almost Ubered home. I didn't even want to wait for him anymore. The guy <laughs> just ridiculous, man. I'm telling you, he's the he's the Canadian Elvis. Crazy, bro. That hair. I mean, Joe, last thing I'll say about your hair. I don't think there's a patch of hair out there. I'll put Joe's hair over anybody's hair in the game. Whoa, Bob, let's be Who? let's not Who? be ridiculous. Bob. Who Mikey V, who's got a better set of hair than Joey Day? Uh Trevor Lawrence has got a tremendous set of hair, I would he, say, right? Yeah, I mean, like gotta, but you know what it is to me is Trevor Lawrence's hair is too female ish. It looks totally like a woman's agree. hair. Yeah, yeah. But Joe's looks like a good set of man hair. Now like Trevor Lawrence's hair if, looks like women's it is female. Thought- if Trevor cut that and, and shortened it up, he would yeah. look 10 times yeah. better. I, I don't yeah, get weird. why he doesn't do that. It's weird. Yeah, weird. I mean, look, you guys won football games. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, Joey D, why don't you tell the folks the top five, and then we're going to start off with you as well. So this week's top five, courtesy of my mom, God bless her, Dorothy DeMar, friend of the pod, um, is top five things that you hate to do. It could be on a day-to-day basis. It could be on a month-to-month. It's just things that you hate regardless of what they might be. And I I do like this topic because I think our lists are going to be quite different. I do think that they will be quite different. It'll be interesting. So if I'm to start out with uh, number five, I'm going to put on the list something that I know Mikey D and probably Bob would not have on their list, but it's just I got to be honest with with to myself like something i can't stand doing and i don't look forward to it all number five thing i cannot stand doing and i hate to do is working out i gotta be honest like i know i need to but it is hard to motivate me to go to the gym and do like i did this f45 class yesterday bob i was dreading it all freaking day like i don't enjoy it and i know i need to do it but i don't enjoy it whatsoever i know you guys are probably different in that in that sense than me but that's number five I, I, no, I, I I sorry to interject there, Joe, but I actually really do like that because even me, even though I go, I'll go five six days a week, I don't I don't like going. But how good did you feel going out? Well, I had a broken back, but aside from that, I did feel pretty. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, I was crippled, but you know, other, other than out. that, it was it was, yeah, it was wonderful. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Um, okay, number four, I'm gonna put something I think is on everybody's list is cleaning whether it's the dishes or doing vacuuming or cleaning the house i have become lazy I, to the point where like i have a maid come in every three weeks to do a deep clean i got her from bob she's a lovely woman but <laughs> it's just, i can't fathom mikey v cleaning up after kids because i can barely clean up after no. myself and it is a problem like it's not good and i just I'll I'll have dishes and I'll just like procrastinate. I'll be like, oh, I'll do them tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow morning comes and then I don't end up doing them till like the next evening. Like I just do not like cleaning. It's a bad thing. I need to work on it. But that's my number four. Um, at number three, I'm gonna put something else I can't stand doing, and it's cooking. I absolutely hate cooking. I'm not good at it. I don't like to wait to eat my food. I don't like the time it takes to put in. I don't like the cleanup after it. It's, it's, and by the way, it's, it's I don't like to wait to eat my food. It's great. That's it such a cut. Well, no, like, you make line. these things, it's like a two, three hour pro- process. It's <laughs> not like it doesn't, it doesn't come easily. And then you go out, you buy all these expensive products, and you don't even know by the time you finish the recipe if it's going to taste good because I probably botch it. So number three is cooking. I can't stand doing that. Mm. Um, number two, this is coming up, and I am dreading it. And Bob already knows what I know. What this is too, up. bro. I 100 percent know what this is. Taxes, tax bro. season. <laughs> taxes. I knew Uncle this Ray. Is, was gonna <laughs> be high up on that this list, is going to be my first year having to do my own taxes. Being an entrepreneur now is no longer a W nine employee. I am absolutely <laughs> dreading it. Say entrepreneur. 
You Gary Vaynerchuck all of a sudden. I know. Oh, I, mean, I, I, no I, I cannot, on, cannot wait. I cannot wait for this episode to come out. I I, I literally <laughs> cannot wait because that clip. I I, oh. I, I might post it. I I might just post that one clip. No edits. Nothing. Just that one Ian, clip. You know, now that I'm an entrepreneur. <laughs> I mean, I'm a I W2 mean... employee. I'm not a W9 employee. Fucking Mark anymore. Cuban over here. <laughs> no, you're a no, you're. <laughs> No, Doc, you're a W nine now. You're not a W two. Yeah, that's what I meant. I meant that's Joey what... Dockefeller. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm an entrepreneur, what a lie! I mean, what a lie! Can you please not take I thought it out I broke my headset. <laughs> Come on, man! Can you please not take it out of context? You know no, no, I mean. we won't. We won't. Of course not. And then number one, um, I, I gotta be honest. This, this number one is for me. It's I dread doing this. And I'm going to combine them. It's Ooh. going to the dentist and or doctor. Really? And number one, I absolutely hate. I will I will resist going to the doctor, to the dentist at all costs. I, um, yeah, I, I, I get, that. you know what? Joey D's got a lot of, um, old school, like man's man to him. Like if, you know, if, if you're sick. You don't take Advil. You just let it surpass. You know, you yes. just kind of. Pass. He's very yeah, much yeah. like that. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. The human he, immune system is underappreciated nowadays. Oh. People they have a sniffle and they just they throw lozenges and all sorts of shit down their gullet because they don't want to just handle the freaking pain like a real man. I I don't know why 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 when we became so soft as a society that we can't handle. You know. Yeah, Joe. I hear you. <laughs> yeah, there, you got some gutsy gold in here in this episode. By the way, you oh, got about yeah. five oh, lines yeah. that you could put oh. in. Just classic. Oh, I, so classic. I don't thing, like. I don't man. like waiting for my food. Yeah, and I don't call <laughs> Raina a maid. I, I I call Raina. Um, well, what a, do you call her? The cleaning lady. Or, no, or, I um, think maid maid is more appropriate. It's a maid, Bob, and Bob yeah. has her. That's by, more appropriate. By the way, I use her every three to four weeks. Bob has her over once to twice a week. Cleaning lady, I don't know that. cleaning I, I, no. once a week for sure, Bob. Every Sunday know. or every Saturday. I don't think that's she's like, fair. Oh yeah, I went to Roberts again <laughs> last week. Yeah, you use her every week, Bob. Let's just be honest here. Just well, be honest, Bob. First off, two two times a week is is sick, but but it's a package. First off nothing that's a that's a spot where i love to spend my money in the sense of when when by the time marina leaves you walk into the door okay and we have nice. such a good thing going me and her like we really we have a really good relationship um i always send her back with like clothes reina has more row back in her house than you could imagine wow she, she has a closet I've given her, wow. i've given her coronas to bring back to her oh husband. and she loves she, it she, she picks She's, up Bob oh, told me one time, he goes, you know what the best feeling is, Cuts? When I oh, walk God. in and it smells like Lysol. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, no, that is a good feeling. Bro, I'm telling you, the best is when I go to Joe's house on a football Sunday, she comes over in the morning and, and does the thing, laundry, the whole nine yards she does. When when I leave Joe's, come back for that night game and the place is just spotless. I keep it pretty clean as is, but they get spots that you can't. Right. I, I invest in that any day of the week. Um, by the way, how about Joey D? Something that gets lost in the shuffle is one time my ex came with made chili. So Joe came over to my apartment and he brought his bowls for the chili. Okay. So the bowls were at my place. They had been for a long time. Raina comes to Joe's place to clean it. Joe accused Raina of taking his bowls. No, so no, he I thought she misplaced the bowl. <laughs> misplaced the bowl. I, Joe, I remember this. Cereal bowl. I remember. I remember oh. Joe accusing the the lady yeah. of something. Yeah, I remember the, this. The yes. text exchange between Joe and Raina is one of the most That's preposterous. Shame, it is. It is. He's you want to see it? Like you want to see he's, it? He's got it. He's got it somewhere. Um. Okay, while while Joey D looks for that, because it is preposterous. Um, I will go ahead. I will get into my top five. Five cleaning. I agree. More so dishes. Um, but even with the cooking, the thing with the cooking too, I do it. You know, very few times. When you cook, there's nothing worse than cooking, eating. You have a full stomach, and then you got to do the dishes. To where, if you play it right, you cook. 
as you're cooking, you do the dishes yeah. and then you can eat without having to, but that's why I do it. So a few times um, that I got that at five, number four, laundry, um, you know, once laundry the laundry's sucks. in there, it's okay. Me, the things that I hate is looking out for clothes that will shrink and then yeah. going oh. to hang in that. And oh. sometimes you forget somebody's got to invent something to wear. You could put something in the washer, put it in the dryer and it doesn't shrink. Um, that, I mean, that, the, the dryer has the settings on it that'll allow it to not do that. Yeah. Dryer, but so. then you got to take it out of the other ones. You got to mix and match. It's, well, it's I mean, tough. heat is heat. If you want something to dry, there's not really many uh, avenues you know, to explore. I got the text, by the way, Bob. Read, read the text with Raina. This is sick. This is really sick. I said, uh, this was a while ago. Word for word, by the way, Joey Davis. Yeah, don't last... edit it like the don't Vancouver edit Chinese Google search. <laughs> yeah, read it. Go ahead and read it, Joey Davis. I said, uh, Raina, it's Joseph, ha- uh, brackets, Robbie's friend. You <laughs> cleaned my house this week. I cannot find my large black bowls, and I was wondering if you remember where you might have put them. Then she <laughs> responds, where do have? <laughs> I respond by saying, I normally have, today, no have. Today. No <laughs> have. <laughs> she responds, before we do you pudding, because we don't pudding on trash. Right. So, no, I got that. Not the best text. She, you know what, too? I, I don't know if it's like a thing she's trying to say Chico. She always calls me boy. Yeah, I'll be like, Raina, like, can you, can you come over today? She goes, okay, boy. Everything yeah. <laughs> That sounds like if Nikki Diamonds was texting, <laughs> texting you back. Okay, she just, boy. She just okay, suns boy. me. She just suns me. Um, Okay, back to the top five. I um Cleaning. Laundry. I have laundry. Number three. And you're right, Joe. These are a little bit different of a list. Number three, I got the airport pickup. Not necessarily oh, the airport yeah. drop off. The airport. Well, some pickup, are worse than others. The LAX one is by far the worst. Ugh, brutal. You have to you have to time it correctly, and even though the pickup may only take hour and a half out of your day, your whole day is planned about when you leave, checking the flight. It's just never easy. It, it it really isn't. I got the airport pickup at three. And then number two, I'm shocked this wasn't in your list, Joey D. Number two, the most dreaded, DMV. Anything oh, DMV oh, yeah. is just... I guess I haven't had to deal with them for a long time, so I just haven't oh, thought about it. Oh, man. Yeah, I got to go get new uh, tags. And, uh, yeah, I'm just – it's just – just it, there's nothing worse. You could try and get there early, but then – Miserable you're like, people over there. Miserable It people. really is. Just It's just really, really tough. Um, I got the DMV at two. And then number one, and I have this coming right around the corner, number one is moving. Mikey V, oh, you just recently moving did the is move. absolutely yeah, disastrous. There's nothing worse. There, there's no. really, really nothing worse. Um, and then you know, one of the things with moving that that like really is a pain that I think people don't think about because they think about the main big stuff. Something that pisses me off with the moving is like the wires and the cables of the TV and using those and like just even it's just such an awful experience. Um, you know, someone told me that there's a service fee uh, company you can pay for where you can tell them where you want the things to go and how you want it set up. My mom told me this and they'll move the stuff and reassemble everything exactly the way you want it. So you don't yeah, have those, to are, those it. are those are mo- moving men, you know, but you no, know, no, but it's not only they move it, they set everything up. That, so if you have like a home yeah. entertainment system. That, yeah. You tell them where you want it, Bob, and they put yeah. everything up for you. That's that's moving men. No, the moving man, they just put in most, boxes most and they moving, bring it to your house. Moving companies now will re like they make you label the boxes because they will literally take your furniture out and put they it get into to the pay room extra in a pro- for it though, right? Look, yes, you I'll, do. You do I pay now. I you already should pay for that, Bob. I already got the, Raina. Bob Bob would pay the premium for any of that. Anyhow. Yeah, oh, and, and I will. If Bob will pay for a delivery of ice cream with dry ice, there is no <laughs> Doubt in your fucking mind, he's paying the the premium for the move. You bet your ass. You bet, you bet your ass, Joey D. You, you bet your ass. Absolutely. Yeah. I, Raina, Raina has five people that are gonna come wow. to do it. Yeah, I, I I I really I just I don't, you know, and even no matter what, what is the bill gonna look like on that? Well, she's gonna bang me. 
She's gonna bang me. She's gonna say, "Pay me, boy." Couple, couple, <laughs> couple rowback hoodies, uh, and she'll be fine. Couple rowback. Yeah. Dress. No, she's rolling deep. Um, but even so, even if you, <laughs> even if you hire the moving company, you're so far from done. Like you're still, you still got to do stuff. You got to move your address for for stuff. Oh it's, God, yeah, it's, a it, it's, it's a grind, man. And the I got utilities, all that nonsense. Well, Who do you even contact for that shit? For what? For like changing the, of the address, post, the postal service you could do it right online. But that'll United do States for, Postal Service, you do it right online. They'll forward your mail to the new address for like ninety days, and see, then whoever, like Mikey, they'll send it like, back. I feel like you're you're good at moving. You're so even detail like, oriented. Even for like government, yeah, but it, it, that doesn't take away from the fact of how horrible it is. No, it's of horrible, course not. Horrible, horrible. But, but you got to be very good. You're handy. You know, you can. I move wouldn't say stuff. I'm handy. No, I wouldn't well, say he that. could probably carry like five boxes at once. Oh, yeah, the yeah. carry. I mean, the the, the, <laughs> the the grunt labor. Yeah, I'm good at that. There's no question about that. But all right, um, Mikey V, look, I Joe, I I said from the start, it just it was a rigor ram trying to get it up there, but the, the it is a very good top five. It is, um, Mikey V, let's send it over to and you. This is not similar. I have like really? four. Yeah, although one thing that Joe thinks that um we both wouldn't put i'm putting it my number five too i i do not wow i do not enjoy some of the things that i have to do to work out it makes me respect you all the more my number five i'm number five i'm putting stretching i'm not gonna say working out i'm putting stretching (laughs) in my top five yeah bro i absolutely hate stretching and i absolutely can't skip what are you a yoga instructor there goes the respect for him (laughs) (laughs) so with my with my well joe's gonna see it now no no and i'm gonna tell you why i'm gonna tell you why (laughs) joe Joe broke his back yesterday okay i did i (laughs) know on the lower did you stretch did you stretch before you worked Uh, out absolutely not of course you didn't right of course you didn't but but i threw my back out in october right i threw my back out completely since then I've had to redo my entire morning routine. I have to roll my back on a rumble roller. I have to stretch for 15 minutes. It's a whole routine. Stretching is something that nobody enjoys or wants to do. I absolutely hate it, but it's a must to do. Otherwise, I will get severely injured. It's just the fact now with my back. Can I tell you why why Joe broke his back? Because I've seen him in one of these workout classes before. He's a bull in a china shop, and he doesn't understand that the class is 45 minutes. So So he'll come out of the gate. Bro, I've seen him do it, and he is just – everything he's got in the the first – Well, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to commit. He goes balls to the wall, like just (laughs) out of control, and then – 15 minutes in, he's done. Like, he's just cooked. He's just balls. So that's why he hurt his Well, the back. endurance is only going to come with consistency, Joe. But you keep plugging away. You keep plugging stretching away. So, yeah, five. Awful five. Five. It's, <laughs> stretching at five it's is a great call. Five. I bet you stretching will get a lot of play. Stretching is going to get a lot of play. People know less play than the McDonald's. Let me, let, let me tell you, McDonald's something. got a lot of play. I I am running I am running circles around this top five right now. Okay. I'm going to go number four. Number four, calling customer service. Oh, this day and age, <laughs> you cannot. Call. Oh, that is you a, can, that might win his top five. You right cannot there. call if you have an issue with anything. You might as well if you can't talk in a live online chat chat box if you have to call you may as well just give up because it's not getting fixed over the phone i have an adt alarm system okay i called adt they bounced me to seven different i'm not exaggerating seven different people i was on the phone for an hour and 45 minutes to resolve what i'm telling you is one of the most easiest resolves of all time customer service in general calling is impossible it sucks it's awful that's that number is the four. best single-handed thing that any of us have had on our list to the point where i am so upset i don't have it I, that could have made my number one this list is going to smoke bob's world <laughs> no, it's yeah not. okay I okay no it's not number three flying i hate flying i hate <laughs> flying i hate waiting in line at tsa i hate cramming into those 
bullshit seats. They haven't improved airline seating at all. Obviously, you know my physical stature. It's nearly impossible for me. So for me, flying is the most uncomfortable, non-enjoyable experience. There's nothing enjoyable about flying. People who tell you they love to fly are absolutely full of shit. If you love to fly, you'd be a pilot. Nobody likes to be a passenger, okay? Maybe a pilot, not a passenger. Flying, number three, fucking miserable experience. Number two, waking up to an alarm clock. I fucking hate waking up to an alarm clock. Anyone who wakes up to an alarm clock knows one thing. It's not the natural order of things. We as human beings, we as human beings should be able to wake up when we naturally wake up. I think alarm clocks probably are not good for your heart. They're probably not good for your blood pressure. Waking up to an alarm clock is one of the worst fucking things that you have to do in life. It's unfortunate you have to do it, but Waking up 5 a.m., 6 a.m., nobody wants to do that, and nobody can naturally do it. You have to get one of these things to just buzz in your ear. It's horrible. <laughs> I hate it. And then number one is in line with Joey's number two, uh, the tax man. Paying income tax. When you see what you gross oh. in a paycheck, in a two-week paycheck, when you see what you gross and what you actually net, it is so utterly fucking disgusting I don't know where all that's mo- that money's going to. Uncle I don't want to know. I don't want to know because it's only going to make me more angry and aggravated. But that knee, I, 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 these tax. I understand why these athletes want to go and play in Florida. Why people want to live in Florida? I'll never leave New Jersey because I'm just so obsessed with New Jersey. It's culture. I, I, I'm obsessed with New Jersey. I'll never leave. However, I could see why you would because what they do in these paychecks is it's not it's not wrong. It's not bad. It's actually fucking disgusting. It's, it's evil. There's no other way to put it. There's no other way. It's fucking disgusting. That's it. Taxes, number one. <laughs> I will say this. Mikey V, you're five. I don't know about the five. But from four, from four through one, that was a heater. I think I'm gonna work it. I, I I'd be very. I'd like. I, I don't even I remember. Like I don't even remember. I need that list. right now. Mikey like V, laundry, laundry, you would, week. Laundry's you would week. rather cleaning. I'd like you. I'd guys rather to fucking clean than pay taxes. I'd love a side bet on this. I, I would I, love I'm a side bet between all Bob side bets and Fine. Mikey V. Sure. Whoever loses, has now mind to you, like I'm at a huge on next week's episode or something. Mind you, I'm on a, a huge disadvantage because once people uh, find out there's a side bet involved and and Bob's cronies uh, come Bob's out of the woods. Yeah, see, that's not fair though. That's not. That's don't not fair. You see what he's doing the there, Joe. Oh, I will not underestimate. The voices are strong. The voices. By the way, that's so, he this. knows what he's doing right now. He, but I listen, if we go to ground, if we go to ground war, Bob is like China. No, he has I a billion soldiers. I don't, I don't have no <laughs> limited amount of Mikey V, that's... no, I don't, I don't, I disagree with okay. you. I think you have okay. a lot more pull than you realize. Uh, okay. And I would love to set up a Mikey V versus Bobby. Sure. We could we could track the results. By the way, Ticket can see the final tallies of who got the most votes. Yes. And then next week. The loser has to do like a shot or has to do something as a, as a Fine. As some kind of consequence. This jerk Fine. off would rather touch his toes, Maybe. would rather go to the DMV <laughs> than Maybe. have to touch his toes or stretch Maybe. his hamstrings. Yeah, that's the right. Thing- that yeah, his right. list is better than mine is the sickest. The wor- thing. when the when the working class voiceless when the working class voiceless <laughs> hear the alarm there clock take the alarm clock okay, take so is going to resonate. The working a lot class of people. voiceless. The working guy. class voiceless. God bless Dorothy Demar because this has had the most controversy. Great top five. five. That great we, top five. I might just ask my mom every week for a top five. If great I'm, top yeah. five. Now, what is going to be the consequence for the loser? For next and it should happen on next week's pod. I gotta think of something that Bob really hates. I may make him watch the whole Godfather saga <laughs> live on Instagram. He's got a he's got a he's got a live Instagram his viewing of the Godfather. On that might be my oh, consequence so for Bob. Good. I don't think we need it. We'll discuss what we have to do on the next or how one. About this the loser pays for a DoorDash delivery to the other person of their choosing in full entirety. Chinese feast, whatever it may be. That's I like fine. that. I like That's that. Fine. Um, how about um and, fi- and then when the person receives the DoorDash, they have to take a picture and tag the brilliantly dumb show. Yeah, no problem. F- 50 dollars is good. No. Hundred dollar limit. Hundred dollar limits. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, we're gonna get a lot of Wendy's. We will put up, <laughs> we will put that on up. Um, no even need for the honorable mention. The stakes are high for this one. Um, I'll tell you what, fellas, 
Damn, damn good podcast. Nice long podcast. Like, comment, subscribe. The Burnley Dumb Show is on the move. Another great, great A episode. The morning pods always hit different. That is another edition. The Burnley Dumb Show. I love you, boys. I appreciate you, boys. We will see you next time.